everyone welcome or welcome back to another video i'm back again today's video as you can tell by the title is what to spend your money on and what to not spend your money on as a beginner lash tech so let's go ahead and jump right into the video if you see me looking down or looking over there it's because i got my viewfinder yeah yeah guys what can i say i'm a youtuber so i am going to be looking down at my ipad um because this time i came prepared for you guys okay also i have a new news channel on instagram which is where i ask you guys a bunch of things basically it's a whole community so if you want go ahead and join that for all of the recent updates polls on new videos and all of that so it's in my instagram which will be up on the screen what to not spend your money on is a warm mist humidifier so a lot of people don't know that there's two different kinds of humidifiers well like, i didn't know when i bought mine so i spent my money on a warm mist humidifier and it literally was such a waste of money um so make sure you get a cool mist humidifier if you do want to um invest your money in a humidifier then make sure that it's cool mist because it's literally going to make the biggest difference um when you're lashing and it just feels so much more comfortable than warm mist coming at you and your client and i also would recommend that you buy a bigger one so that it lasts you longer especially if you're going to be lashing all day um you don't want to get like a small one and then you have to refill it like so many times during the day another thing that i would recommend you invest your money in is a good pair of tweezers tweezers are very very important like i feel like that's one of the lash supplies that you should be like spending a good amount of money on because they are definitely an investment they will last you a long time and obviously you just need to take good care of them and also liquids so anything that is primers adhesives uh bonders removers anything that is a liquid product you should definitely invest your money in and you should not cheap out on those products because you definitely get what you pay for no matter where you're buying it from however when it comes to disposables i don't recommend that you guys buy like the packs from all of the like lash brands i mean you definitely could if you are interested but i just feel like there's really no point for you to spend like ten dollars on a pack like this when you can buy it from somewhere else for like three dollars so i just want to say before i get into everything else this is for beginners so this is for the people that have been lashing for like only a couple of months or just are starting out um this is not for professional lash artists you know i wouldn't recommend that you keep doing these things when you're like a professional and you have uh like a huge amount of clients the reason i recommend doing these things is because when you're a beginner you're already starting out with so little you barely have any clients and you really need to find those areas where you can cut down on your costs but still give your clients amazing quality so when i'm saying you should buy cheaper disposables it's not me saying like you should you know cheap out on your clients or on the products but it's basically like invest your money in good quality adhesives and lashes and tweezers but when it comes to these disposables it's really not that serious if you're buying like you know the fanciest of the fanciest just buy a huge pack that comes with a lot for cheap and that'll be you know more than enough for you one thing i don't recommend you buy as a beginner is a glue shaker um and i've mentioned this before i think in one of my older videos um but especially if you're not lashing full time like don't buy a glue shaker because okay so there's two types of lash shakers which I should have probably found my old ones to show you guys, but um, they're deep in the trenches. So there's these types of glue shakers, which I have bought multiple as a beginner because I thought it was so cool and I would see it all over social media. After like two months, it would break and it was such a waste of money. I don't even think that you need to be really shaking up your adhesive that much as a beginner for like one to two clients a day. And then the second type of adhesive shakers is this one right here, which is the one that I have and the one that I use. These ones are way on the pricier side, I would say for a beginner, if you have the money to splurge, I mean, like by all means go ahead, but I just don't recommend it, especially again, if you're not lashing full time. So the next thing is definitely do not buy a recliner or like a fancy lash bed and like get all the bells and whistles if you're not lashing full time. Honestly, get a green light lash bed 
a lot maybe you could put a couple pillows on there if you want but you don't need to be like putting the memory foam and all of these things again if you have the money and you have like saved up for it in order for you to like do this big launch and become a lash tech and you have saved up for it then by all means go ahead so yeah i definitely don't recommend that you're buying like a recliner and all of these things because again you don't know if you're actually going to be like very successful in this field and that's just me like being real like that's how i started i did not spend my money on all of these like extra things at the very beginning because i did not have the money to do so so yeah i definitely think you should wait before you invest your money in a really like expensive recliner or lash bed. okay this one a lot of people might not know about but this is actually something that i came across when i was in the process of growing especially on social media and i was kind of interested in having my own lash line basically there are some creators that will charge you money for a vendor list now this is not only for the lash industry or i've seen it with the hair industry nails but yeah i've seen it basically in every industry every beauty industry where some creators will try to sell you a vendor list for like 200 300 whatever it is and basically when you spend your money on this they will give you a list of all of these vendors slash manufacturers that you basically could contact to buy your stuff like this for cheap or whatever do not spend your money on this especially as a beginner first of all you do not need to be paying a middleman two to three hundred dollars for them to give you a list of chinese manufacturers when you can go and find that information for yourself number one number two nine times out of ten these vendor lists are not even verified vendors that they have bought from tried their products and then said okay these are amazing if it's like that then okay i get it but nine times out of ten they are not vendors that these people have tried they're literally just people that they found in china that you know are vendors of whatever product and then they're just plopping in these names and selling you this list for like 300 dollars. i definitely do not recommend um you should be spending your money on that i came across that a lot when i was in the process of trying to do my own lash line and it's a huge scam don't do it basically no hate to all the creators that do it like no tea no shade you know like i'm just saying okay so the next thing is about decor now bro i know like when i started out i wanted all of the like nice decor and wanted all of the little things i wanted the pink and the light and the custom everything and i wanted it all and i get it if, and if you have the money like you're lucky because go ahead and do it but when i first started out like i was broke i did not have money to be spending like 500 dollars on a custom uh, logo sign and even to this day like I still feel like I'm like no I should invest that money somewhere else like I'm not gonna do it I would definitely definitely recommend you DIY or thrift your cool decor before you buy expensive stuff that you don't need and you don't even lash full time so again if this is for people who do not lash full time you can come up with the most creative things it by DIYing your decor like I've done a lot of it I've upcycled a lot of things I'll put a picture of this little stand that I have and it was actually my grandmother's old like piece of decor and we were gonna throw it out and I was like wait it's kind of cute so definitely try to like upcycle stuff thrift stuff because I promise you if I was trying to buy all of these extra things um like even this pink light that I have is literally from Amazon it was like $15 um, there's no reason for you to be spending like so much money on decor. Do you guys see like a theme here? Don't waste your money because that is one thing that I did um, when I first started out and I definitely like regret that because I just like looking back I spent my money on the most useless things that I've like now five years six years later I've had to like throw out and I definitely regret that because if I had invested that money back into my business I would have been like already 10 steps ahead of where I am now. So basically learn from my mistakes. <laughs> the next thing is invest in a good scheduling website system to keep track of income and finances. So this is so, so, so important. And you guys know I've been raving about Schedule City from day one. I think that they're easy to use. You know what? Schedule City, sponsor me. Actually, you should sponsor me before I put you on, okay? I'm not gonna say no more about it. If they want me to talk more about it, they can sponsor me and I'll show you guys all of the cool things that are available on Schedule City. But basically, um, 
invest your money into a good scheduling system now a lot of the free ones you can't really track your finances you have to do it manually which like if you want to do that go ahead like that's what i did when i started out I didn't have the money to be spending a monthly fee for a scheduling website so i just used a free one and i had to do all of my finances manually which is kind of a pain but like the you know like you gotta pick and choose your battles but now i'm using schedule city and it just makes things so much easier especially like with marketing but yeah i think that if you definitely can you should spend the extra money every month and invest in a scheduling system or a scheduling website it makes your overall aesthetic so much more professional it's also a lot less of like going back and forth with clients and people can just go at any time and book. They don't have to wait for you to reply to them. They don't have to like DM to book, like all of that. So right away they can go ahead and schedule. And then by having that whole system from the back end, you can also keep track of all of your finances, all of your clients, um, what is your return ratio. So those things are just kind of to help you out um, with your again like marketing and stuff i hope that i made sense i have not recorded a video in a long time so i feel like you know i'm kind of like i feel like i'm not really doing it as good as i used to all right everybody that was all for today's video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please make sure to give the video a huge thumbs up as it will help me tremendously Again, leave a comment for what types of videos you want to see, any advice. Again, all of the important links will be in the description down below, so make sure to go ahead and check them all out. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!